all right hello hello welcome to angie blog this is the channel message that i have for you thank you guys so much for your like your comments and subscribe if you're new to the channel welcome um this is a channel where we talk about prophetic words we talk about justice uh, we do tower reading we do we do all kinds of stuff country creators here we are focusing on higher consciousness new earth and spirituality and i've been divinely guided to say that in the fourth message today <laughs> maybe i'll start saying it on the other channels but again i'm just going with the flow um and uh, yeah i think uh, he's letting me know also that most of these channel messages are all connected they're just gonna be delivered in a specific time or certain situations uh with other people but today i've been divinely guided to deliver a lot of prophetic messages and channel messages and tower reading before i do my crystal uh readings that he wants me to do for certain divine connections and love so if you're somebody who are in separation or in some type of love connection or something like that or would like to know if you know if that reading resonates with you you know like i always say take what resonates with the rest we're here to learn also about the sermon uh how important it is the sermon how important it is to listen to your intuition um yeah it's all about spirituality letting go of the ego as well you know ego death helping you guys go through that and ascension i'm not here like you know don't try to idolize me and stuff like that i'm not a perfect i'm just a human messenger here light worker that is connected to god holy spirit and i'm here to deliver messages as i go because i am working with the most high and that's just what it is all those who don't like it you don't have to watch this channel all those who don't believe in it that's that's on you i don't care at the end of the day i'm here to do what i meant to be doing in this lifetime and that's exactly what i'm gonna do in, as i've done in every single lifetime in atlantis in lumeria in ancient egypt and all that stuff okay this is someone who is an empath spiritually awakened and i'm going to repeat myself as i repeat myself in other channel messages anybody who tries to do anything into this channel any video that i ever put on this channel is highly protected and i'm just letting you know that if you try to do anything you are cursing yourself yeah you might be able to slow me down yeah you might remove some subscribers and some views and stuff like that but at the end of the day you're cursing yourself okay and it doesn't affect me whatsoever because i am highly protected and i've been divinely guided to tell that to somebody also those who uh tower readers and people that i put on my channel on my community board on this channel when i put it on my facebook when i talk about it when i put it on my stories on instagram to tell my community and my people to go watch there's readings they are divinely guided and protected as well and I am very protective of my people, especially when God shows me what they have been doing behind their back to my people. Are we clear? I hope that's clear. Okay? Okay. Now, the fourth message talks about Psalm 29. He says 29, read uh, the word number four. So it says... And this is about, I feel like he's talking about like how to identify his voice, right? Because a lot of us who are anointed, who have gifts and talents, you know, we've been, we're heavily going through spiritual warfare. We're heavily going uh, through stuff, especially if you're a light worker, if you're a psychic reader, if you're a prophetic person, if you're, you know, somebody of the light, right? Somebody who does not operate of the dark. There's other people who... God is letting me know that they also operate in the dark, but benefiting the light. I'm still trying to understand how that works. For example, he's letting me know there's some people who do candle magic to protect humanity, to protect certain people, to protect certain business or someone. Uh, he's letting me know, by the way, thank you so much, whoever is doing that. God, show me who you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay. 
Um, this is someone who did that just out of their kindness of their heart, and this is somebody who has a good intentions. Okay, thank you. I uh, you show me who it is. But there's other people who do candle magic to do the opposite, to try to jeopardize someone's business, someone's love life, to uh, try to prevent them from the divine connection. Uh, they're jealous and envious. They have a dark heart and stuff like that. So we show me those too. May God have mercy on your soul. Okay, and he's letting me know to let all the people know that not everybody who do this candle magic and stuff like that, who do the light work of witch, because um, he's saying there's light witches who do healing, who do really good work, you know what I'm saying? But they're being kind of targeted like, oh, they're witch, uh, you know, they're not the same. Dark witches and light witches are not the same thing. Like, literally. No. And that's how like religion and the unconscious have been like, that's what we have to relearn. They colonize it, they program. Like for example, indigenous communities, they are kind of like light witches. Indigenous do work with nature, with the herbs, with uh, where they talk with spirit, they talk with the plant. They know that everything is a spirit, that water is a spirit, that fire is a spirit, that everything is a spirit, right? All those, also those who do numerology and astrology, right? You are like light witches, you're like light workers because you're accessing the light to tap into certain energies to help your certain communities, right? But you're not doing it, uh, you know, doing stuff like other people who are tower readers, who are astrologers and stuff like that, but they're using, they're all pretending to be of the light. Like God shows me this, like they're doing, pretending to be of the light and they're cursing their own people, their own subscribers and stuff like that. Like people who comment, so like be careful who, who you're telling your stuff, you know, who you're putting, you know what I'm saying? Like, and also that too, they, these are people who copy other astrologers, other people, other tower readers and stuff like that. And then they pretend to be alive, but then they go turn candle magic and stuff like that for those people. There's also, he showed me others, uh, tower readers, for example, that they, if people go to them and stuff like that, if they know uh, that they have like a future uh, with somebody or they have money or stuff like that, like these people, they will tell the person, right? But then the person, let's say they leave that they, you know, they say, okay, thank you for the advice, blah, blah, blah. Then this person will do candle magic or try to do divination and stuff, talk to stuff to prevent, to block that person's blessing because they're jealous and envious of them. If you're in that type of work doing that, like, what's wrong with you? You're cursing yourself, by the way. I'm just putting it out there. That's what, be careful, guys. Like, and that too, anybody copycat and all that stuff doing, like, that's just weird. I don't know. Like, that's demonic. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I'm telling you guys, I'm saying it from now. I do not do personal readings, okay? I am not there going WhatsApp or going into nothing. I'm not doing that. Okay, so don't get fooled, don't get uh, scammed, seriously. Use the sermon, okay? And we put it in the description. Anybody who puts it in the description, we don't do personal readings, we don't, it's for real. We're not going, I'm not going to any Instagram or something like that, DM me for, no, I'm not doing that. We don't do that, okay? Those who are doing that, we don't do that. Now you can identify those who are going out there and saying, oh, I got this uh, message. I need to tell you reading and stuff like that. Like, that's that's demonic. That's we don't we don't we don't chase. We attract. Okay, so that's how you know. Like a person like that. Like block those people. Like no. Okay, be smart. Okay. Now, so he's letting me know that that too that you will know when the Holy Spirit and God is trying to talk to you, especially if you're being working on your spirituality because it's. You know to build it's like any relationship you got to build that relationship okay you got to build that connection you gotta let god trust you you gotta be trustworthy all right you gotta have integrity you gotta have empathy you gotta have all the things that we have been taught not to be yeah you gotta be that that's really it okay so just like any relationship any friendship any new connection or something like that you gotta build that connection okay even though he's already there he's always been there by the way even if you think uh, those atheists and people who don't believe, he's there <laughs> protecting you. And because he sees what you can't see, he knows what you're going to be before you even know. Okay. Angels as well. Ancestors as well. They can be in many places at once. I'm just saying we're not separated. We're connected. Okay. Uh, especially if you're you're even more connected when you are connecting like through meditation to prayers to working on yourself healing yourself taking care of yourself taking care of your body because your body is a vest your body is your temple 
So when you take care of your temple, it's, it just radiates goodness. It radiates, you know what I'm saying? And it brings goodness to you. Make sure you're able also open to receiving as well. It's not just giving. That's where some of empath uh, around here. You know, I'm not guilty. I'm guilty of that, you know what I'm saying? But create boundaries, okay? Because you also are, um, you know, you're worthy of receiving as well. Just as that love that you give to others and you're there for others and stuff like that, you're worthy of receiving that love too, okay? All right, so the voice. So he's letting me know to let you guys know Psalm 29, 4. He says, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. So it's kind of like, because um, that too, once you connect with him and you're able to, you know, to have that relationship and, and that too is like, not just go to him whenever you have trouble, you know, even with the good times, you know, that's, that's another thing. That's how you show him like, like you really like, okay, she, she or he is really like, okay, I can trust you, right? Because it's what it is. Like he's almighty. He's everything. He's our creator, right? But he knows that, you know, he knows our heart. He knows how we were raised and stuff like that. He knows if you're envious and jealous. And he knows that if you don't go through the healing, if you don't go through the, you know, you know, someone's trying to burn. That's something in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I have like something in my mouth. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, the voice. What could be that? Somebody prevented me from telling you. I don't care. We're still going above that. Any negativity or evil intent or anything, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and send it back to send a hundred tintas full and so it is. Okay? Okay. All right, so number four says, the voice of the Lord is powerful, the voice of the Lord is majestic. So you really will hear it. Like whenever you, if you're doing good things, you're doing, uh, you know, he will, it's like a, a very loving voice, but also commanding too. It's like powerful, you know, it's not, I wish I could explain. It's kind of like, it's like your dad, you know, if you had a good dad, for those of you who know, it's like, you know, how they talk to you in a nice way, but also like, you know, they don't, whenever, if they have to be disciplined, you and stern, you, you know, it's like a commanding voice, but it's not like abusive. It's not toxic. Right. And that too, that he's trying to say that, you know, the devil tried to masquerade as his voice, you know, so that's why it's good to have, to learn about the sermon, to listen to your intuition, to nurture that intuition and discernment, because that way you were able to identify from the devil to his voice. Okay. His voice is also not. It will never confuse you. It will be clear. Um, it will never try to uh, make you uh, doubt or compare or talk shit about other people. Never. Okay? It will actually tell you, like, okay, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? And, yeah, the Holy Spirit, too. Like, you know, that's it. Like, the devil is trying to masquerade right now to try to jeopardize you guys from going your divine path and you know it's it's no so you guys are learning through a lot of us like a lot of light workers are awakened now so now he's extra working so so is us okay so even as evil try to work extra hard we work even harder okay that's really it and that's what he's trying to let me know you guys know it's that learn to to know what his voice sounds like so you don't get the seed and don't get uh, tri uh tricked by it okay and then you derail from your path and then it takes you longer to get back up okay um, and then he says, the seven, he says, the voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lighting, of lightning. So basically it's, it's like a swift and, uh, you know, swift and precise, you know what I'm saying? But it's not something that it's like, uh, frightened, you know? I mean, at the same time, you know, I, I, I get scared sometimes, <laughs> you know, especially, you know, if you're, but he, he's going to tell you like whenever, let's say I have to deliver this messages or something like that. And I haven't done it, you know, he, he's patient, right? He's loving, he's patient. And I think that's the third message I, I deliver today. I'm going to deliver. I know he's be, making me work uh, like this, <laughs> but I know the second message we talk about love and how um, love is indispensable and unbreakable. Okay, so we talk about that about him and um, and that too. It's like his voice. It will be like everything actions that he will do towards you is loving, right? Until so, you know he gets fed up. Like, okay, come on, you gotta do this. <laughs> but he doesn't do it in a in a way that is like evil or try to you know. It's just. 
he's trying to discipline us uh, in a way that that is good, that is gracious, that is loving, right? Because he has this undeniable love towards us, right? So he will never do anything to derail us or, you know, that's the other side, okay? Um, so yeah, his voice is that, um, the voice of the Lord strikes us with flashes of lightning. So it will be kind of swift and, you know, he will also show you through numbers, through uh, confirmation, through messages, uh, those who are being guided to look at all the prophetic uh, people and stuff like that. Like that's, that's him, right? He's using a certain people for that stuff. So that too, that's why you have to use this sermon because some prophetic words are, you know, good for you and some are not. Some tower readers are good, some are not. You know, you will know. And now that too, some of us who are in the tower community for a, for a while now, now you're learning that certain tower readers, you, you're not feeling in line to it anymore, right? You're not feeling like you want to listen to them anymore. And then other ones you want to, you, you're more like, okay, I want to learn because, you know, you see them grow, you see the uh, change, right? You see something different. And also you see them more connected to the spirituality and stuff like that, like, you know, that too, they have a lot of angels and right angels are, um, around them. You just know, you feel them in their aura, right? The more ascent, um, when the more you go through your ascent, ascension, those who are psychic readers and mediums, and you look at other psychic mediums and mediums as well, you you feel it as well. And also, even those who don't show their faces, like some of them don't don't show them they're just in the background but it's just it's just a, an energy you just feel it you just know and that's how you know that that's a good tower reader that's a good person you know anyways i have a lot of them on my uh writersyep.com website if you go into the gift bag and spiritual guidance those are the good ones okay like literally holy spirit like these are the good ones okay so and i'm gonna keep adding more until you know but i'm just saying those are the really good ones if you want to check them out okay and make sure you follow and subscribe and you know show them some love okay now like i said in the first video if you try to do anything to them because any of that stuff triggers you or you think that you can do stuff behind their back and they don't know and you think that i don't know you're highly mistaken you are cursing yourself okay and i'll meet you in the spiritual realm because i am very protective of them as well mm -hmm. oh yeah Oh yeah, it's not only God that sends his angels, okay? We spiritual people who are in the spiritual warriors, we protect our people, not only in the external, okay? That's a warning. Now, the 11, he says 11, the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. So some of you who've been doing this work, who feel kind of defeated, that you say, wow, I'm even like, I'm not doing anything to anybody, but I'm getting spiritual attack. I'm getting all these gaslight, all these bullies, all this stuff, all these uh, delays and all these things. Don't worry, okay? It's part of the lesson. It's part of the work, okay? That's what he's saying. The Lord gives you strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. I'm telling you. I've been in this crime mode for what's going on in the world right now, what happened in America, what happening in, what's happening in the world. Like, as an empath that I am, I need to be, like, grounding myself 24-7, saging this place 24-7, cleansing, bathing. Some of us have to bath, like, three to four times a day. Hmm? Right? If you're not doing that, if you, okay, good for you. But if you feel called to, that you know that you need to be, like, as somebody who also works in, in the external, you have to go to work you, while you're building your business, while you're doing your thing. You have to do that too, because you know in your workplace, there's people who are envious and jealous, right? Who have this uh, evil spirit in them. They can't get it out. Even though you try to warn them, you try to help them out and stuff like that, right? But they don't listen. That's not, our, that's not your problem. People who don't want to heal, that's not your problem. Don't try to heal people if they don't want it. It has to come from them, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Whenever you feel drained, your body will tell you, the, don't be around these people. And if you have to, then you have to protect yourself somehow, somewhere, until you're able to change and shift. But some of us are put in certain works, in certain places, not for those people, for those who are there. I'm talking about teachers, educators. I'm talking about uh, people who work with caregivers who are with disability and stuff like that. You all have to deal with, with their families who are toxic as fuck. You all have to deal with environment, certain jobs and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's all a lesson. Even you learn something through those people. They're teaching you stuff. 
Even though you think like, you know, all I'm saying is to protect yourself, protect your energy. That's it. But you learn something through them as well. You do. Karmic people, people who don't want to heal, you're learning stuff through them. They're showing you stuff too. By whatever it is that they're doing, they're showing you stuff. They're showing you how to protect yourself, how to know your self-worth, how to say, take care of yourself, self-care. They're teaching you stuff without them even knowing it. With the, Their jealousy and envious energy is teaching you stuff. Everything here is learning. Doesn't mean it's right, though. Doesn't mean you deserve it. Don't get me wrong. I'm putting stuff in my, in my mouth. But at the end of the day, let go and let God. Because God sees everything, right? And everything is divine timing. And that too, it's like sometimes like I don't even know where the strength comes from because when I'm in that cry more, when I'm going to the shadow work and at work, and then I feel this strength that's telling me like, okay, the, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit, like, okay. And I feel this peace, like I feel so good. You know, I go and meditate, I do what I gotta do. And then even when I'm tired, even when I like, like I feel it, this strength that comes, I don't even know from where. And it's just, and I just go with it. I just go with the flow as a surfer, right? Someone who surfed, like, even when I'm tired in the surfing, like, I will be like, you know, guy, I miss the ocean so much. I miss it so much. <laughs> Anyways, what he's letting me know is that he gives us strength to us, especially those who are righteous or doing the right thing, who are talking about the truth and clarity and justice whenever you feel called to, like, especially those content creators, people like, like me, psychic mediums, and having your own channel, having your own business, having your own thing, like, just go with the calling, okay? God is giving you the strength, all right? And peace, that's one of the best reward. Honestly, it's better than money. It's better than when you're protecting your peace. And that's what he's letting me know. Like some of us are not in our connection and stuff like that. It's divinely protected is because you're supposed to be alone right now. You're supposed to be doing the work and stuff like that. And your person is doing that work too. So that's what he's saying. Like make sure that you're nurturing that work as you're doing this external work and the spiritual work. Because it's important that you nurture your intuition and your, you know, your, your work. Because that way you can able to discern from the voice of your person and the voice of the devil trying to masquerade as your person. He's letting me know that, remember, not only is they're trying to masquerade the voice of God and the voice of the Holy Spirit, but also your, your connection with your person that you know. Also, I'm going to leave uh, in the description below um, something about twin flames or something that I learned today. Yeah, he's letting me know to put it out there. Like, how do you know how if it's your false uh, uh, twin flame or fake false twin flame or soulmate or something like that? Uh, he told me to put that in the descriptions of each of this and also other. And yeah, that's what I have. That's the message of this one right here. Oh, 22. Whoa, go universe. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.